Granada, Livermore, Shea Hill. The 2019 California 2019 California State Division II Boys Championship Race. How the girls have done. Now the boys are not only establishing that legacy, but continuing it too. How special is it to be a part of that? Well, you know the girls won eight titles in in ten years, and that's a great great legacy. You know, if if you go out and do what you expect to do, and someone beats you, then all you can do is tell them congratulations and move on. Um, you know, we were a little shorthanded today without Tori Gaetan. She was out with the flu, and that happened to Buchanan last year with Corey. So you know, it's just part of the game, and we knew it was going to happen. We were hoping we could we could run just fast enough to to steal one today, but Buchanan was ready for us and and ran a good race. So. You know, at the end of the day, I think the girls will probably sneak into NXN and we'll, we'll hope that Tori's ready to run next week. You know, it's hard to come out right out of bed and jump on the line against this, this caliber of athlete, and she just wasn't ready yet. So I think next week she'll be back. Now, you talked a little bit about the girls, and obviously I know there may be a little bit of disappointment there that they didn't win or so, but obviously it was a close battle. Buchanan, obviously a very talented team. Yep. Just talk a little bit about what that battle's been like this year. Obviously, they've kind of gone head-to-head -head with you guys. Each team has won a, a particular competition. Um, just talk a little bit about what it's like to compete against them. Well, you know, we, we knew they had three really good freshman girls and that that was going to kind of change some of the dynamics of how they've raced here in the years past. So I was a little bit nervous coming into this meet because I knew that they were going to run well. I just didn't know how well. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, when you've got a girl way up there like they did with Corey, um, and then they had another girl take six, it's, it's going to be hard to lose if you're, you're three, four, and five run well, and they did. So, you know, we just we weren't able to get quite enough girls up towards the top ten to be able to hold on to a victory today. But, you know, we've, we've gone through quite a few things this year. We've had quite a few girls with little, little things and to have the depth to be able to still come up here and run for a title makes me really proud as a coach. And then finally now the season has gotten to the point where obviously every year this program aims to get to onto the national level. This is what you guys gear your training to, competition schedule and comp competing schedule. This is where you guys want to be. As you get ready and look ahead to that challenge, what is it going to take for this program to be successful against the best in the United States? I think on the boys' side, we just got to stick together and, and make sure that we finish a little bit harder than we did today. Um, and, you know, looking at the course, I know it's it's not been raining in Portland for the last month. So it should be a little drier than normal, and I'm hoping that that's going to help us out a little bit. Um, we, we're going to run well on, on dry versus mud, you know, so I'm hoping the course goes our way a little bit. Um, you know, we've got the talent in this this group of guys, and we've got a lot of seniors. It's hard to win without seniors at NXN because you get beat up, and you, it takes men to get in there and really mix it up. So I have a feeling these guys will run well. I don't know if it'll be well enough to win, but I know we'll be in the mix. Well, they're always in the mix nationally in terms of the state of California. Boys again, sixth title in a row. Girls finished second here. They've still won eight titles in the last ten years. Quite an accomplishment. Coach Doug Souls, congratulations on a great day.